Now let's take a walk through the code in this LabVIEW project. We'll begin with a sub-VI called Check Internet Access. This is a fairly simple sub-VI. It's based on the HTTP GET function, and this fetches the web page body from the Microsoft Network Connectivity Status Indicator Service. That body, when it matches that string, indicates that we have successfully reached out to the internet. The timeout prevents uh, lack of internet access from holding up the function, and you can adjust that timeout amount. The case structure looks at the incoming air cluster to decide whether to execute the code of the sub-VI or to pass through the air with nothing reported except for a false on the internet OK indicator. Let's take a quick look to see where you can find the HTTP GET function. Let's do a right click and select Data Communication Protocols HTTP Client and there's the GET function right there. I'd like to point out that the same sub-VI can run unmodified on either the RT target or on the PC host. Now we'll see where this is used in the RT main VI. We'll see two process loops and the internet check is down here in the second one and this updates once every five seconds. In the top process loop that updates more rapidly is displaying the available IP addresses of the RT target. And let's finish up by looking at how to stop these two parallel process loops. The stop button is pulled in the top loop. A local variable is used to communicate the state of the stop button down to the bottom process loop. And the false is fed out when the bottom loop is stopped to reset the button back to its initial state. I'll show you where you can get a local variable. Place the local variable and then click to select from the available front panel controls and indicators. You can adjust whether or not the local variable is in read mode or write mode. I should also point out that you need to set the appropriate mechanical switch action. And specifically, we need to use uh, one of the top tier. I'd like to use switch when pressed.